Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and now the news in details. Edo will be like Lagos and God for that reason will continue in Edo state, says Desmond Hillot. Nollywood actor Desmond Hillot, who is also a representative of the APC in the Lagos State House of Assembly, has refuted a claim made by the governor of Edo state, Godwin Obesiki, that Edo no be Lagos. He made us known during an interview he had recently where he discussed Pastor Izeyama's simple agenda. Refuting this claim, the Nollywood actor said, saying a dual state can never be legal state means that a dual state can never be as developed as legal state. This is very detrimental to the state itself and it's not right for a governor to, stay, to say that. Because saying a dual state can never be as big and as popular as Lagos State means that he is trying to pull a door backwards. Obasiki is a product of Godfatherism, and so I am. Godfatherism in politics only teach you how to make people happy and rule peacefully with impacts. So Godfatherism will continue, he had it. The Nollywood hack to further set that Pastor Hizayama's simple agenda will make a door state better than Lagos State. As the candidate of the APC will make sure that Edo becomes more developed and more beautiful than Lagos State. What is your own point about this? What is your own opinion? Kindly drop your thoughts at the comment section below. And don't forget to even click on the on the subscription button so that whenever we upload news, you will be able to get our updated news. So guys, what do you think? My own take is that... Uh, hmm. I don't think uh, I will not support what uh, Desmond Hillard is saying because you cannot compare a do state with Lagos state. Of course, you know, you know, this is politics for you, and I don't blame Desmond Hillard for saying that. This is it is politics. They will definitely fight for their own opponent. You know, that is exactly what is going on right now. You know, but many people, many Nigerians were not in support of what Desmond Hillard said. You know. People were saying that I don't know be Lagos. We say no to Godfatherism. Obesiki all the way. Shiamala is a thief and thug. We cannot vote for him. Heather Light will vote him massively come September 19. I am an Edo man. I know what we want and what is good for us. You that is not Edo, what do you know about us? Just keep your mouth shut. We will make Oshemale irrelevant in Edo State. God bless Edo State. We will, we will defend our vote. You cannot rig election in Edo State like Lagos, Kogi State, and the rest. You know, they were saying that he just said the truth. You know, some people were in support and they said he just said this truth. Nobody enters a, poli a political office without the help of a senior, which is also called Godfather, who you can kill yourself over it. You know, People were saying that Desmond Elias from today on, your new name will be Desmond Idiots. <laughs> you know, people started condemning what uh, Desmond Elias said, you know, uh, going against uh, obesity. Indirectly, uh, Elias was really in support of uh, Ize Yamo becoming the governor of Edo State. But the fact is that uh, you can see that uh, many Edo lights, they don't like Ize Yamo. And that is just the problem. Many people they like Obesiki to become the governor of Edo State, but let's see, let's see what will happen. September nineteen is fast approaching; it's like a week now. So let's see who oh, will win the governorship election in Edo State. We just praying that it's gonna be a free and fair election by the grace of God. You know, some people were saying that Desmond tell them because they are far from the truth. Is a Yamo Karigo? This is your time to shine again, awaiting governor. You know, people said people were saying that Nigerian youth crying on how to quit all those recycled politicians, at least from president to local government area, and this month is celebrating Godfather. They said, Let us not deceive ourselves. Politics in Nigeria, you need a man that will hold your hands and pull you up. And that is that is just the reality about it. We might not really in support of what Elliot said, but the fact is that you need a godfatherism. Let's give an example. Looking at the case of Obesiki, when he first become the, became the governor of Edo State, does he, does, didn't, she, didn't he need God for that reason? He, at least he used Oshomole to become the governor of Edo State. 
And that is how he's in Nigeria politics. You have to have somebody that will raise you up. You have to have a strong politician that will stand by you, that will fight for you. That is Nigerian politics for you. I might be wrong about it, but that is the way I see it. That's the way I see it. You know, people were saying that uh, let those who are shouting no God for that reason go and contest and see how it looks like. Exactly. Hear these political beggars next week carry all your families come and go to vote away. You know, people started lambasting uh, Desmond Elliot for what he said. You know why some people were saying that uh, Desmond is a product of God for that reason? And that is why he is talking that way. Let's watch and see God is able to do all things. The present administrative is stylishly killing APC. If nothing is done on time, electricity tariff hike and petrol, we pay them dollars for our crude oil and still pay them dollars to refine for us. We need somebody like Oshi Oshibajo as our president, not those who don't have something upstairs. You know, may God help us. Nigerian politics, it is only God that can that can just settle the whole uh, thing for us in Nigeria. Why some people were saying that Obesiki is a product of God for that reason? Where were you 2016 when Oshio did all the, all the campaign for Obesiki? Exactly, this is what I just said. It's a product of God for that reason. Oshio was the one that actually, uh, that actually helped Obesiki. Not until when some, so many things happened between them. You know, we all know that in the process, we all know that Adam Tsushimamole was faulty, had so many faults in the in the whole issue, you know. But the fact is that whether we like it or not, Adam Tsushimamole was the person that served as a godfather reason for Obesiki, for him to be where he is today. That is it. You know, this person was saying that Momo illiterate. Till tomorrow, Tsushimamole remain a godfather to Obesiki. Since four years now, point at one project Obesiki executed in Edo State. Some of you are walking, driving on road, Oshomale constructed in Edo State, and you are praising Obesiki. Go to Etsako, my local government area. No single project from Obesiki. Hmm. It is well, it is well. May God help us. Nigerian politics. The Holy God will save us from this Nigerian politics. So, viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment to the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload this, you will always be the first person to always watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Stay safe at this crucial time. Bye.